Ah, the universe. Isn't it such a beautiful sight, I might add? Your universe containing trillions of galaxies, each with billions of more planets, with potentially there being even more life forms out there other than our own. Wow, your universe seems like a quite piece of art, isn't it? Well, my friends, your universe contains many mysteries and wonders. A, a lore. And then there is Earth. L a lush green and blue planet as it is, with bright blue skies and vast ecosystems. Your planet being the third planet from the sun is often considered to be the only planet in your known solar system that is known to contain life, containing a variety of different species, most notably you humans. But until space travel is possible, this is all that you got. So I suggest that you take great care of your planets, because it's all that you got. And then, other than a universe, you might ask yourself, What's beyond it? Well, your universe is only but a grain of sand in a vast multiverse. Each contain their own universe and their own version of your Earth, or even a version of you. The possibilities are infinite. Maybe on any of these Earths, your life is either better or it's much worse in another universe. But I bet that that isn't what you're here for. Oh, no, no, no. You want a story to entertain you. You want to see a hero struggle against an all-powerful evil and good always triumphing in the end. A tale that as old as time itself. But you think to yourself, wow, that trope is very overused. <laughs> but if you see things in my perspective, you'll see that stories are much more than told. Now, for our story, what exactly should we do a story about? Perhaps we shall make our own story. One, where, um, let me pick a genre for you. The hero at his lowest point, but triumphing in the end. Nah, a comedy, perhaps. Nah, dark and broody. Nah, horror? Nope. Parodies? Nah. Well, you guys don't like anything. I got the perfect one for you. Adventure and Journey. Now, for our hero. Ah, oh, yes. The hero for my story. A battle-damaged warrior whose destiny is about to ring their front door. Now then, folks. Time to make our own hero. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 30. Man, there's no really good, any good shows on. Not really any shows that really intrigue my interest. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Alright, 40 more more. 61, 62, 63, 64. I'll get it. 78, 79, 80, 81, 82. Go for it, someone's at the door for you. Can't you see I'm busy right now, bro? 81, 82, 83, 84, 80. Come on, little bro, get up. There's someone at the door for you. Hey, hey, don't, don't, don't drag me like that. Ah. Gonfrey, my dad, had died. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Mary. I, I, I didn't know. And that's not the only thing that, but, but that's not the reason I'm here in the first place. Like, remember, like, four years ago in our previous relationship, like, you remember, like, having any kids, or... Um, no, I don't. Why? Well, you see, from that previous relationship, we actually had a kid. And my father has actually been looking after him for four years. And I was originally going to, like, introduce you to him, like, on our, like, second year anniversary. But, but since my dad had just passed, um, 
you wasn't supposed to pass this early, but I want to introduce you to our son, Meek Gordon. I have a son? Hey, 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 don't be shy, little guy. It's all right. It's, it's your daddy. Hmm? Daddy? My name is uh, Gordon. Nice to uh, meet you. To finally meet you, Daddy. I can't believe this. After so long, I can't believe I actually have a son. Don't worry. Your dad's going to keep you safe and make sure that nothing bad ever happens to you. I promise. I've been doing this job, protecting the world, for over five years, and yet now is the time that the universe decides that I get to be a father. Hey, don't, don't beat yourself around the bush there, bro. Like, look at me, I stepped down from leadership of Team Fazbit to look after Frederick when I found out that he existed. He was literally dropped off at your doorstep, bro. It seems that somebody didn't want him. Huh? <clears throat> like, maybe it's about time that I, I suggest that you guys, like, you guys can, like, step down and be actual parents for once. Well, me? Oh, I, I literally cannot step down. You see, I, I'm part of a band, and, um, yeah, I, I can't really, uh, step down from this band, you see? <laughs> Look, Frey, I am not stepping down. As long as crime and evil exist, I must keep the innocent safe. <laughs> yeah, Golden Frey, you can't do this forever. You'll need to retire eventually. But if I step down, who's going to protect the world where no one else will? Golden Frey, the world has plenty of heroes. Like, I don't think anything would change if one hero decides to retire. But that would be one less hero in this world. <laughs> Which is why I need to continue fighting. Hey dad, do you want to play toys with me? Sorry kiddo, dad's got a train right now. <laughs> Come on, Goldfrey, just play with the kid. Look, I can play toys if you let me go grab a toy. Well, perfect. Yeah. Why are you guys doing that? You're just, like, flailing an object, like... Just making, like, childish, childish gibberish? Like, what even is that? Come on, Goldfrey, we used to do this when we were kids, remember? Yes, but we've grown up already. <laughs> Never in my life have I ever, like, held an object, just failed it around and just making, like, all that gibberish sound. Come on, it's fun. Here, you try Oh no, we're about to crash! You're no fun, Dad. I really miss Grandpa. I feel it, kid. I lost my dad, too. Um, who is this now? I swear, if it's someone who's going to sell me insurance, I'm going to scream. Hello there, my kind friend! My name is Fu, and I have an offer for you. I am a peacekeeping multiversal de defender, and I need your help. <sighs> well, how rude of you to just walk away from a conversation like that. I was just trying to be a friend, alright? You don't have to just slam the door in my face like that. How rude of you, mortal. Um, who are you and what are you doing in our house? Well, my name is Fu, and I'm an interdimensional peacekeeping watcher, and I need somebody with unique skills, a battle-ready warrior. A warrior who is strong and brave and ready to do any task in the name of justice. Was I wearing a cape? You see, I have misplaced a gemstone that belongs on my cane here. That I have misplaced on the desolate planet red over millennia ago. Wait, you player red? But I thought that all life on player red was eradicated centuries ago. Yes, and the old inhabitants of the planet kept this, my little stone that goes on my cane. They are currently keeping it in a temple that is very fortified. 
where the ancients have placed it within an old ancient temple that is completely impenetrable it's deep inside their old ruins. And I'd only need the bravest, battle-ready, and the most smartest of warriors to be able to break into that vault and get my gem back. And you want us to do it and not do it yourself? Because without my gem of might, then my power is, is limited in the mortal realm. And there are dangerous people out there who will stop at nothing to harm you mortals and the entire multiverse. So that is why I need you, Golden Freddy. I need your help to acquire, reacquire my gem of might. And what will you do in return? What I will do in return? Well, what I will do in return is I'll make it so that there no crime exists on your earth. Your earth will be the most peaceful earth that there is in the multiverse. So no crime, no evil, no corruption? Alright, sounds good. Wait a minute, Golden Freddy, you're not actually taking up this task. Look, he just gave- that guy just gave us an offer that we definitely cannot refuse. Yeah, I'll be coming with Golden Freddy just to make sure nothing bad happens. And besides, I know a lot about the universe and everything, so I at least know exactly where it is. You, Freddy, can go and look after Gordon for us. Well, I don't want to just the two of us, like, like, Bonnie and Chica are visiting their parents, Lolbiz is in Diamond City just doing his work, Foxy is doing his little pirate adventures, and, and Lolbet is just that, it's just training and whatnot. Well, you guys can always head over to, um, you guys can always head back to my, to our dad's place where Tim and Steph are residing. Oh yeah, the Tim and Steph variants from the the world that, that was destroyed from the alt from an altered timeline. Yeah, I got it. I forgot completely that they forgot that they reside in Dad's house. All right then, we'll do. I'll take Gordon there, and and you just get that this gem of might and wipe out, out evil. Come on, Gordon, let's go to your um, other grandpa's old place. It's not technically. Like, your grandpa doesn't live there, he's dead. But we're just going to take you there to just keep you safe and whatnot. Like, there's gonna be people that will help look after you. Oh, well, your parents are gone. Okay, Uncle Freddy. Whee! Alright, Freddy, you go and keep him safe. Yeah, but he said, but few, that Foo guy said that that the, the vault that his gem of might is, is is completely unpenetrable. Like, how do you think we're going to get in there with just our magic and your stone breaker? Well, I think I know some people who can help us. So let me get this straight. You are hired by someone to go and get them some sort of gem? B but th they couldn't do it themselves, so they asked for you and our help in order to have it. He told me this story would be treacherous. He told us if we did help him get the gem, we could give Gordon a good life. And we won't have to fear him getting hurt or getting harmed, as we'll be going to an Earth without crime and without any war or any other disaster. The life that I've always wanted ever since my dad died. And you need our help because he told me that this journey to the Gem of Might requires a team. A team of people who are extraordinary. The best out of the best. Will there be snacks on the trip? Nope, there will not. Besides, Omega, you're a robot. You don't eat snacks. And besides, I think you're finally admitting that I'm better than Sonic. Of course, you're a member of Team Fazbear's just like me. I am not a member of Team Fazbear's. I am ne was never a member of your little boy band. But you did help them against the Metarex and Nazo, remember? No, I did not. I was doing it under my own terms. Not because of the, because I wanted to help Team Fazbear's. No, the plan was being threatened, so I had to defend it. Detector scans that you are lying. Shut up, Omega. Like you, it's not like you know nothing about me. That you work better in a team? Shut up! Alright, come on guys, let's just go into the ship already. Alright, that we buy in? Yep. Alright, I was just hoping that Lolbit won't mind if we borrow his little spaceship for a while. And there, I just set the coordinates to planet red. 
Yeah, and how do you expect us to get to a planet that's on the other side of the universe? Easy, we'll just take Jake, take the jump points. Planet Red. A once planet thriving with life. Civil War ended up having the all this entire life on the planet got wiped out. The Civil War actually made the the the, the atmosphere more suitable for us, but not suitable to what once was live was living on that planet. Either they either left the planet or they all went extinct. Who knows? But what we do know is that Planet Red contains what exactly Tfu needs. And I'll fear, and I'm, I'll ask you guys to be careful. We don't know exactly what might lie on this planet, even if all life on it has seemingly left. We don't know if anything or anyone has decided to make this planet their new home. Okay, it seems clear. Here, don't see many other life forms here. We have made it. Planet Red of Sector 59. Yeah, Fu told me that this, th this gem of might is here. Hopefully we can be able to successfully secure it for him. I'm still really unsure why exactly we're doing this again. Mary, we're here to do him a favor. If we get the gem of might, then, he'll give us everything that we've ever wanted. A world where no crime exists. A world with no evil. A world of peace. A perfect world for our son. But don't you think this is too far? Like, we already have a perfect world. <laughs> Trust me, the world is far from perfect. Hmm? Well, what is it, Shadow? There are footprints in the dirt. Footprints and these look brand new. Like, I don't think this is possible. The rest of the Illuminati told me that that this planet has been uninhabitable for decades. Like, how could there possibly be life on this planet? <laughs> there isn't. But it seems that we're not the only ones on this planet. I recognize those footprints. They belong to none other than. <laughs> oh, dark arms! It is dinner time, my children. <laughs> I remember to share the food. Like your brothers do need some food, you know. Just as much food as you. Hmm. <laughs> I'm quite proud of myself. The dark arms have gotten stronger and stronger by each growing day. Perhaps if I'd known that on day one, when I was all out of hope and thinking that the Dark Arms had have, have, didn't survive the collision, those four, however, were able to, su to successfully hatch before our arrival on this planet. And by each growing day, I'm quite proud on how they progressed. Seems that they were the lucky ones out of the others. They will inherit the legacy of the Black Arms, and soon, our race will will thrive again. Hmm? What the could be? Team Dark. And a black and gold one. Perhaps did they finally uncover me after so many years? I'm sure that my position might be compromised, but if... If Team Dark and their, their little friends know about the, the Dark Arms, then this will compromise the future of the Black Arms race. I cannot let this happen, but what are they talking about over there? So wait, you have a brother? Well, not technically a brother, but yeah. So you're telling me that you fought, like, while, you, while Team Fazbear's were out in space looking for the Chaos Emeralds and stopping the Marex, like these black arm aliens that you guys, that you and Sonic had fought before, like they're like they returned and they attempted to conquer Earth, and we didn't know about it. Knowing the current situation that you guys were facing on Earth, the gun didn't want to like have other people, 
everybody else freak out. Everybody was freaking out that the planet was slowly dying. If we didn't want to cause more hysteria. But I suggest we try and keep a low profile. Make sure that Eclipse, knowing that he's here, it could probably mean that there's more of these black arm aliens here. They might actually reside on this planet now. I'd highly doubt that. We should go and find the temple of the, the Gem of Might and get it. And then we'll worry about Eclipse. Hmm. Gem of Might. On this planet. Hmm. If I had known that, that this planet actually contains such artifact. Hmm. This Gem of Might actually sound very powerful. Perhaps if I had known that such artifact existed on this desolate planet, I would have definitely had, had it in my hands by now. Hmm. Perhaps I should keep a low profile and follow Team Dark in order to find where this gem of might might be. Here we are, team. The entrance to the vault. This is where Fu's gem of power is being kept. Yeah, and what I've heard, the entrance to the vault is specifically designed so that there are no cracks and that none, not even air can get through. I mean, I could probably throw my axe at it and cause it to break. Or Shadow could just probably just teleport inside of the vault and from the inside and be able to take care of all everything else for us. The entrance to the vault is built with, specifically so that people can't be able to teleport behind it. Oh, really? Well, I'm quite surprised. Or we could just have Omega blow up the, the entrance. Come on, guys. Let's move on forward. Great, another door. Hmm. It seems that this door might be pretty strong. It's not strong. It's enchanted. Enchanted. It has a spell placed on it that makes it completely indestructible for anything that harms it. So how exactly are we going to be able to like break the the entrance? Well, here's the thing. I know a bit of magic, so I could be able to to take the spell off this door and then. Phew. All right, Golden Freddy, do the honors. Why certainly. Come on, guys. The gem of power is this way. Whoa. Wow, I really forgot about those booby traps there. Huh? Everyone, get behind me! Target eliminated. Proceeding onward with the mission. Huh. Wow. Omega really took care of those traps right there. Huh. Wow, is it just me? Or is Omega actually taking care of all those traps in, in, in the vault? Wow, Omega's really just speed running through this entire vault. Like, like, yeah, it, it should have just been me and Omega that went to this vault. Like, Omega's actually taking care of doing a better job at going through this vault than you guys are. I'm sorry, almost half of us didn't even do anything much in this vault anyway. Another pretty tough door, I see. Yep, cannot be able to break through. Well, that vault door, however, was sealed from the inside, so that way nobody could be able to get in. And where and is there exactly a way to open it? Well, it's on the other side of the door. Hmm. Let me take care of this. Seems like a mission for me. Beep. Come on, guys. Let's continue onward to find this stupid gem. Here we are. The second to last door before we get to the Vault of the Gem of Power. Hmm. There is a lever inside the walls. And there's an entrance to the, to the inside of the walls, but... None of us are too big to be able to, 
too small to be able to get through. Well, I could probably be able to fit in, in that vent, but the thing is, I can't really fly. Golden Freddy, can you happen to like throw me up into that hole? No, Mary, I would never do that to you. Well then, boys and lady, this looks like a job for me. Step aside, guys, while I take care of this. <sighs> wow, uh, thanks, Rouge. Yeah, she usually does this for a living. <sighs> Alright, guys, now onto the final door. Right. There it is. The last door till we get to the Gem of Power. Wait a minute. Something seems kind of odd. We're at th if the Gem of Power is behind this door, then there has to be some sort of guardian that's guarding the Gem of Power, right? Well, there's only one way to find out. It's it! <laughs> Who in Fred Bear's hat is that? That's the Guardian. That probably explains why there's no puzzles here. Chaos Control! <laughs> so much for being a worthy opponent. Guardian of the Gem of Power. Was I good, guys? Was I good, Mary? I basically done most of the work. Now then, let us break down this vault. Hold up. Let I do the honors, because this is my quest, so I should be the one to be able to break down this final door. There it is, guys. The Gem of Power. So that's the Gem of Power. Well, my, my, my. Looks even more precious up, up in person. Perhaps I should get a better look at it. Don't think of doing anything funny, Rouge. This is my quest. We're only getting the gem of power and returning it to a friend. Alright. If I secure the gem of power and give it back to Fu, then... I'll make sure that Gordon gets a happy life. The world will be a better place for Gordon to live in. I'm sorry, what? Golden Frey, are you, are you sure you want to do this? Look, as long as there are bad guys in the world, there are people that are going to harm us. Especially Gordon. I don't want him to feel the exact same pain that I did when I lost Fredbear, my dad. I know what it's like to lose a parent to a villain that you can't be able to stop. But is it even going to be worth it? Like without any any threats to Earth? Would there even be a Team Fazbear's? Mary, you agreed to go on this mission with me. You know exactly what Fu is offering us. Yeah, but to be honest with you, Golden Frey, is, is peace even worth it nowadays? As much as you really want to, you can't really have peace. If everything's peaceful, then... then what? It would get boring after quite a while, don't you think? Take it, Golden Freddy. Come on, take the gem. Take it. Take it. Take it! Perhaps it would be safe if we just kept the gem of power here. What? No! Don't go free. I offered you- I'm offering you an opportunity of a lifetime. Peace on Earth. Eternal peace. No crime. No war. Nothing. Just peace and peace. <sighs> hmm. Perhaps I should spice things up a bit. Hmm. <laughs> I like exactly where the story is going. Here. What the? <laughs> I have the gem of power now. And also, hello, Shadow. Great, not him again. Who? Eclipse the Darkling. Well, if only I knew that such powerful artifacts exist on the planet that I reside. Maybe I could use the immense power from this ge for the gem of power for a long time ago. Hmm. Nothing appears to change. 
Is this some sort of like baloney lie or something? Wait a minute. Why isn't he using the gem of power's power? Like I, like I thought. Like Fu said, whoever like possesses it, like to be able to use it. Did he lie? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! Oh man, this gem of power feels incredible. This power. <laughs> Good thing I decided to throw a stormbreaker at it. And I know that nobody could be able to wield stonebreaker. Da, uh, don't worry, I'll get him. Omega, hold back. Something's happening. What is happening? Uh, <laughs> what? This, this can't be possible. <laughs> this fight is about to be interesting. I think it's some of it. That's impossible. <laughs> I'm gonna have to thank you, Goldilocks, for giving me the weapon that I need. Now I'll destroy you all and conquer the universe. Whoa! Psst. All right, gotta use my magic. Magic? I don't think. St um, my magic. Did I not wipe my music box today? That that can't be possible. Okay, uh, spear. <laughs> oh please. <laughs> 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 Impossible! This this doesn't make any sense. How can you be able to wield Stonebreaker? Unless that gem of power is it might be the gem of power is doing. Guys, the only way we could be able to beat Eclipse is by taking away the gem of power from him. Hmm, it seems like Gold Frey was able to come up with a plan quite quickly. Perhaps I should summon some allies to aid him in his little battle. What the? How did I get here? Mmm, too boring. Much better. What the? Where am I? Shadow? Alright, Shadow, you go lay this off. I'll take it from here. What the? Sonic? How'd you get here? No clue, no how. <laughs> come on, come on. At least I still have to have some magic in me. <laughs> Does this remind you of old days? I mean, kind of. Yeah, we both started out our careers when we were 13. Then we started using our gifts to help people. Your magic and my strength. It almost felt like yesterday when we first met. Good times, good times. Wait, go afraid, I think my magic is starting to reignite. <laughs> oh dear. Mary, what did you do? I might have accidentally summoned some space sharks. They seem like just a, just a, some ordinary sharks. Threat detected. Must destroy threat. <laughs> No, I don't think so, Shadow's evil brother. Now it's showtime. What the? No! The general power! What, what's happening? Wait, am I leaving already? I still got to wait quite- It's over now, Cliffs. Give up. What happened to that power of mine? Damn you, go afraid for destroying that, that power stone! I will have my revenge for this. I gotta retreat. Isn't that the last to hear of me, Shadow? Well, that was weird. No! 
Dang, you weren't supposed to destroy the gem of power. That, you were supposed to give that gem of power to me. Listen, foe, I feel that it's the best option that we destroyed it before it got into the wrong hands. No, it was supposed to go into my hands, because it was mine. Well, good thing I had a variant of you give me another gem of power in another reality while you, we were gone. Because I knew that you would decide to destroy it before you'd give it to me. Wait, how did a variant of me even get, he even give you that gem? It's the multiverse, duh! And after he g gave me the gem of power, I killed his son, Gordon. You what? Duh. You are going to pay him! What do you mean with that box? That's my music box! How did you? You're not the only one who keeps precious items in their sock drawer. Stand back. Wait, my magic. <laughs> of course, I'm in possession of your precious little music box. Now, if you excuse me, I must travel back to Earth to kill your son, Golden Freddy. You see, I thought you were an exception. I thought you could probably be my champion. But no. Let your son know that in his final moments, you two failed to save him. Parents of the year, everybody. No! He has my music box. I don't think I could be able to use my magic to get us home quickly. But we have to get back to the ship now. It's sealed. We've been sealed in. Well, we need to figure out a way to get back to Earth quickly. Let's just hope go that Freddy can be able to hold Foo off for, lo for a long time. At Fred Bear's old house. Uncle Freddy, when is Papa and Mom gonna be back? Hey, don't worry there, kiddo. I'm sure they're gonna be back on their little mission, alright? <laughs> but it appears I must end the life of the boy because your father had failed as mission. But, but why though? Because. He destroyed the gem of power before giving it to me. So, he took something from me, I'll take something from him. All versions of Golden Freddy. Oh yeah? Take this! Oh please, you think using a simple battering is going to- <laughs> I stand corrected. Ah, Tim! Yeah. Hmm. What? You guys got any ideas? Well, I don't have a chaos symbol, so I can't chaos control back to, to Earth. Well, I only have enough magic to be able to, to like, send one of us back home. But I don't think how, don't know how to probably do all that. Well, I, maybe if we could channel your, your magic, into Stonebreaker, then maybe we could be able to use that to teleport all of us back home and save Gordon. Are you sure this is gonna work? I'm sure of it. <sighs> I think that it has enough power now. Alright, now let's head home and save Gordon. <laughs> well, you're actually quite the first person to land a hard hit. Uncle Freddy! Perhaps you shall be the first to test the might of the gem of power. Let him go! Uh, wait, Gordon, did you just... Uh, you know, kid, maybe you share both of your father's might and your mother's power. But it's not going to save you from me! Dad! Yes, I'm home, son. What the... Yeah. What? No! 
It's over now, foo. Leave Earth now. Hmm. Impressive feat of power there, Golden Freddy. Maybe I might come back in, like, a little over four years. And maybe I could see exactly if you could become my champion in the future. That too! <laughs> it's good to see you too, Gordon. <laughs> so what exactly did that food guy even mean by see you again? Like, he's going to return? I think so. You know, come to think about it. I think I should definitely learn how to actually be a father and make the world better for myself that rather than have someone else do it. I think it's about time I I hang up the axe and just call it retirement, I guess. Right, like Gordon's only four years old and he was able to take out he was able to push back that food guy with just just a blast. Wait, is that true? Yes, I did. I, I don't know what happened. I just got so mad, and then, I, then all of a sudden, I just that just happened. Huh. I guess you take a, a lot after both me and your mother. I guess. You know, Fred Gonfrey, I honestly did not know that your son actually had in him during that fight with that foo guy. I mean, I could have figured so. I guess it's finally that time that I finally stepped down from training and actually focus on being a father. Gordon deserves a good father. He deserves guidance. And one more better person to guide him is also his father. Don't worry, Gonfrey. I think you're gonna make a great father. And besides, you've helped me take care of Frederick here and then, so at least you have some experience. Yes. I feel that Gordon is going to do a lot of good things in his life. Just like his old man. Just like our dad. Yeah. Just like dad. Yeah, but should we be worried about that food guy if he ever decides to return? Foo isn't our main priority. But also we should start worrying about Eclipse. He could probably return and try to attack. We don't have to worry about Eclipse. But Foo? He could travel the multiverse. Like, who knows even what he's capable of? It doesn't matter now, Freddy. What matters most is that if he ever decides to come back here and harm the people that I love, we're gonna come at him full speed, and he will never see us coming. Yes, some stories are always just meant to have happy endings. People don't like movies for the tragedy and triumphs. They like them for the lessons and for the enjoyment. Maybe the real journey for the Power Gem was just the friends we made along the way. But that's just a story, for now at least. Alright Dark Arms, I think it's about time we decide to leave Planet Red. It looks like there's nothing here for us. Where exactly should we head next, Dark Arms? <laughs> hmm, good idea. Let's head to Earth, guys. I'm looking forward to our little family reunion, Shadow the Hedgehog. Come on!